We have over 100 movements coming in, which is up 65% from our Houston Super 100 Bowl. 100 movements means 50 planes in, 50 planes out? Is yeah, that it's a, yeah, it's a little more than that. It's, uh, I would say, because we're still taking flights and booking, I would say we'll probably be in the 70, 80 range in and out, which for Wheels Up is, uh, is big numbers. And you have some very big investors, we should say, who are going to be on the field, or at least attached to the field. Bob yep. Kraft is going to be here a little bit later. Mr. Yep. Belichick yep. is also an Listen, investor. I, like Tom Brady, I'm working for Bill and I'm working for Bob. So uh, here we are. So... Tell me how, the, how what, tell me what it takes to orchestrate this. I Meaning, you said you're still taking orders. People are going to be calling well, to get here this weekend. In, still, in our business, we have ASAPs. You know, unlike the commercial carriers, uh, you call us up. Probably take us four to six hours right now to move a plane from Philadelphia or uh, the Boston area. So, if you're still interested in uh, swinging out here, we got you. And in terms of, I mean, the celebrity quotient is huge. Yeah. Um, there was a big party last night. Justin Timberlake yep. uh, was playing at 11 o'clock last night at Prince's old. Yeah. Uh, Old home, Paisley Park. Yeah, and I would say Justin, uh, he doesn't like to fly commercial either, so. He, he doesn't like to fly commercial no, no, either. No. Um, is he a uh, wheels up uh, can't, can't say. customer? Okay, confidentiality matters. Um, we want to talk a little bit about what's going on in the economy okay. um, and just what that says about your business right now. This tax, this, this, this tax cut, um, both the tax reform package and what it's actually mentioned, the depreciation of planes. What sure. has that done to your business? Well, we used to call it the Trump bump. Now we're calling it the Trump jump. Yeah. Uh, this tax depreciation situation for the OEMs and people that can afford whole airplane, it's unbelievable for our business. Uh, corporations, uh, the flight departments, the IT spend, it's just uh, an unbelievable thing that you can now expense the cost of an airplane in one shot. Okay, but, but why is that good for your, I can see why it's good for your business in terms of you being able to depreciate it, but I would, I would think all of these yep. companies that historically over the past couple of years have said, you know, I'm going to get out of this, I'm going to jump on. Uh, to wheels up, or I'm, I'm going to use some, somebody else's service. Now, do they say to themselves, I'm going to buy my own plane? Well, if they buy their own plane, uh, we're supplemental. For the Fortune 4 5000, uh, wheels up is a supplemental play. I think the more that people have CapEx money and the more that they can get there, uh, it, the more it's going to benefit right. wheels up. The other piece is we can now move our financing, and we're exploring ways to take our financing off balance sheet and actually sell our fleet theoretically to our members which would be an unbelievable uh, play, lowering how, cost how of capital. How much pushback do you get, though, when people say, these guys don't need to be able to depreciate a plane? What, in terms of the high net worth individual yeah. or the corporate? Both. Well, I think when you put money into entrepreneurs' pockets and you put money into corporations' pockets, the theory is, with the tax cut, is that they're going to spend more in the economy. Right. And I would say if you look at plays like Textron or you look at a General Dynamics, I think that these folks are going to benefit from people having more money. Okay, other big debate here. I mean, this place is full of corporates, right? Yes. That's what that's what this that's what the Super Bowl is to yes. a large degree. Yep. Um, we talked about it on the air earlier this week the idea that under the new tax regime, yep. uh, you can't you can't deduct uh, entertainment the way you well, used you, to you be able can. to. Well, you can. I just think there's going to be a little bit more scrutiny as to how much you can deduct. I would tell you, early returns are Super Bowl for us is up, as I said, 65 percent. So you don't see this or art Bob. I mean. What are the big events here? I was going to say Art Basel, Super Bowl. Masters. Masters is big for you. Yeah. But you think that o over time, companies are going to scale back on that stuff because of the uh, way well, I, the tax I, piece? I think, Andrew, we're in the experience economy. Right. I think it used to be the luxury goods, the, the piece of art that people aspired to have. Today, it's uh, about what you're doing. And I just see that corporations are on that, uh, you know, they're on that front as well. And people are wanting to experience things like the Super Bowl. And I think ultimately, uh, you're not going to see right. too much uh, change in behavior. I think you're actually going to see it the other way. You're launching a new plane uh, today. Yes. Tell us about the plane. And we were having a conversation about that Larry Fink letter, which I think, yeah. I don't know if that inspired you to do this, but I know you're on Larry's side. I, 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 I think, I, I think we, we inspired Larry. Larry. Yeah, I think we might have inspired him. I mean, we have the red plane coming out today. Yeah. It's our third. We had the pink plane for breast cancer awareness, the teal plane for ovarian. And now the Red Plane, we partner with the uh, American Heart Association and Simon's Heart uh, out of Philly, which, by the way, I have a bunch of Philly investors I'm working for here, too, uh, this weekend. Okay, uh, so by the way, they're in town. Well, let me say two questions on this on this plane situation and, yep. and the Larry Fink letter. Uh, I think you were watching Squawk when that letter came out. You know who was on our air, who had some very not, not so nice things uh, to you're say about it. You're talking about Sam Zell? Sam Zell. So I would say, listen, I'm in Larry Fink's camp. I'll say that uh, publicly, I think, as a corporation, as a company. As employees and staff, we need to stand for things. We're citizens of the planet. It's our job in an appropriate way to make the planet better. The red plane is going to raise awareness for the number one killer uh, of all right. time, which is uh, heart disease.
Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.